Hey folks, just a quick one today. I had uh, one of our counselors ask um, if we had an easy way to, uh, to calculate GPAs um, without using power school stuff. So uh, this counselor said that uh, they, they often get the question, what would my GPA be after I took these classes if I got these particular grades? And I, while this, this isn't uh, strictly a teaching question, I bet it's a question that many of us have been, have been asked before. Uh, by students, and it takes some time to uh, to answer that question, or you know maybe we don't know how to answer the question. So I just made a quick spreadsheet, um, and uh, on this video I won't talk really about how how I made it, but uh, maybe that'll be a future video. Um, spreadsheets I think are a good way to save time in general for something that you have to do repeatedly. Uh, but uh, for this one, just a quick quick overview on how to use this. So the link for this spreadsheet is in the video description. It's also on the blog entry. Uh, you'll open up that, uh, that link, and you're going to see this screen. Uh, and this is uh, the sheet that I made. The, the general layout here, there's some instructions at the beginning, but I'll talk through these. Uh, the, the stuff that you're going to enter is going to be in yellow. Um, so that's going to be your current GPA or your student's current GPA and how many credits they've already taken. And then this next box is uh, how many additional credits they're going to have. So maybe they're uh, a senior and so they only have uh, if four more credits that they're going to take or something like that. Um, so this will kind of factor in, you know, how much have you taken already and where are you and how much do you have left and where can you get. And then down here, these are all the, the outcomes. So if they averaged uh, A plus, they got A pluses on all their, their classes there, um, you know, they'd end up with a 3.7 GPA for the, the example that I've got here. Uh, if they average a C plus for all their classes, they'd end up with a 3.22 after those additional classes. Now, You'll find on, on this spreadsheet that it's, it's a read-only right now, um, just so we don't have uh, you know, multiple people trying to edit the same spreadsheet. So before you can use it, you're going to have to go here to File and Make a Copy. And then uh, you can name that whatever you want. And then it'll open up that copy. This is actually being saved right now to your Google Drive folder. So this is a uh, file now that's only viewable by you. And uh, you can see that now we're, we're open to editing this stuff. So current cumulative GPA, I can change that. You know, we have a 4.0 to begin with. Um, number of credits earned, and we can adjust this a little bit and see um, the possible outcomes after another uh, four credits worth of classes, what our GPA is going to get to. Now, if you are not within the Waukee School District and you're watching this video, uh, just a note for you, down here, the grade scale in Waukee, we use a 4.33 grade scale, um, so 4.33 is an A+. Uh, if your grade scale looks different than that, you can just edit these numbers here. So maybe yours only goes up to a 4.0. You can change those values. And then uh, the, the predictions over here are going to be affected as well. See, so when we change the scale, we no longer have numbers above a 4.0 uh, for our predictions. Uh, right now, this doesn't have uh, have capability to add in um, extra points for AP classes. We we have a GPA boost at our schools for AP classes, so it doesn't have that. So you kind of would just take that into account when you're um, looking at this. You know, I think I'm going to get A's in my classes, but I'm taking AP classes, so maybe treat those as A pluses instead, something along those lines. So if you have questions, feel free to leave those in the comments or ideas for, uh, for related spreadsheets or improvements to this one, I'd welcome those. Uh, ideas for future videos, either quick ones like this or more in-depth videos, um, I'm always welcoming as well. Leave those in the comments also. Thank you much. Have a good day.